So what's goody, my peoples? You already know it's your boy Retro Young, the Bang Bang Kid, Janik Biss and this bitch. When you get it, you'll get it. And let's get right into it. Um, everybody's been having their opinion on this whole Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj Twitter back and forth situation. And I could really care less. That's not what I even want to chop it up with y'all about. Because in my mind, they both took a L. Once you get on social media and you start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about your personal life or your, or, you know, about your ex used to do this or your ex used to do that. Um, I figure you, you, you both just have to take the L one, um, Meek for entertaining Nicki Minaj. And then two, Nicki Minaj for trying to bring up like he beats women type shit. Like that shit don't make no sense. On top of Meek Mill was clowning her, her man, her new man, or should I say her husband, and then he brought up the rape allegations, which is a fact of her brother and shit like that. And it's just, it just gets messy. And then for me, they both take an L. But like I said, what I want to talk about is that they both drop a record last night at midnight. At midnight, they both drop a record. So that's crazy to me, like to go from the Twitter situation into this, which part of me is like, was this all lined up? But I mean, they're really upset with each other or they miss each other. It's one or the other. Like, it, like you don't really know. Me got a baby on the way. She's got a husband. So it's like, what are y'all doing? But whatever. Let's talk about these, these, these tracks that dropped last night at midnight. Meek Mill dropped "Believe" featuring Justin Timberlake, and Nicki Minaj dropped "Yikes, Yikes." That was the name of the record that she dropped. Now, um, right off the bat, let me just give my rating, or let me just say who won. Meek Mill won the midnight drop last night as far as uh, tracks, which one was better, which one was hotter, which one was had more substance. Um, and I'll start with Nicki Minaj's record. Um, I hate I this is a gift and a curse when it comes to like album or should I say album snippets or song leaks or snippets when they put it up on Instagram and social media. The little short snippet that she put on Instagram of Yikes made the song seem like it was going to be fire. And first off, it wasn't really a song. Like, it was more so like a freestyle with a hook on it. And the hook was pretty much the best part of the song. Nikki, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to do better than that. That verse was just borderline mediocre. Um, you didn't really put too much time in it. It seemed like it was just... It seemed like a microwave song, like like you just started up as you were beefing with Meek during this whole Twitter situation, which was what, a day or two ago, and then this song comes, and it seemed like you were just in a rush. Personally, I feel like she rushed, a, or she dropped this freestyle and everything around it because she knew Meek was going to drop something at midnight, because, and I'll get on Meek's song, but... That seemed like his shit was planned for Midnight, like it was meant to, because now, today on radio, it's dropping every hour, his song. So, Nikki, I think you really dropped the ball on this one. The snippet was fire. The snippet made it sound like this was about to be one of those Nicki Minaj joints that brings brings her back into the to the light, um, you know, to show her that she was the, the, you know, she's the queen, you know what I'm saying? She, she, she's in front of the Meg, the Stallions, the Cardi B's, the Cash Dolls, things like that. But it was kind of like lackluster. I think like really she dropped the ball and it was crazy because at the beginning of the song, she like, yeah, you bitches know who the queen is. You bitches know da, 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 da. She was talking real big money shit. Meanwhile, in the verse and in the hook, she's clearly talking to Meek. You know what I'm saying? She's clearly talking to Meek or you know, in general, any female that wants to say what they was doing, but coming off of the whole Twitter rant beef situation, she's clearly talking to Meek. Like, this was written towards him. So, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to hold this L, Nikki, because your song does not compare to Meek. Like, it wasn't even a song. Like I said, it was a freestyle. The hook is the best part of the song. Matter of fact, the beat is really the best part of the song. And then the hook is dope. The hook makes it seem like she about to spit. And then she comes into this like, I don't know, nursery rhyme, kind of anybody could have wrote the verse. You know what I'm saying? Kind of rap. And that's not what I know Nikki for. Like, we know Nikki for, for bars, for like lyrical ability. But anyway, yeah, she gonna catch this L because Meek's song with Justin Timberlake. Woo! 
Now, Meek has a way of giving uh Meek all right. Meek to me is definitely in the lyricist uh category up there because he can write raps and make you feel the rap without a punchline. He has a way of talking about real life shit and shit that you can relate to. Now, if you can't relate to what he's saying, you still gonna like it. You might not like it as much, but you're still gonna be like, yo, that's a dope song. The drink with Jefferson Timberlake called Believe. Believe is the name of the song. It's basically a, a it's an uplifting song in a I want to I don't want to say a depressing type of way, but in a street, urban uh real life struggle reality type of way like basically just you just let niggas know where he came from and you know telling people that it, it, basically anything's possible my nigga like like don't be down on yourself just believe in yourself and you know and 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 take the take the initiative you know what i'm saying be on your grind to go and get it and it's not done in a like a, a a corny or cheesy type of way that's the one thing meek does well like he does he he he, he spits positivity in a good slash negative way. You know what I'm saying? Like he'll give you the negative shit or he can glorify some negative shit, but he can glorify it in a way that it makes you go, you know, like like he makes sense. Like like I could do it. You know what I'm saying? One of those. Um, It's very inspirational. Justin Timberlake definitely held it down with the hook. The crazy part is um, it sounds similar to, to my ear. Sonically, it sounds uh like that song that Jay-Z had with Justin Timberlake also, which I don't know if it's just because it's Justin Timberlake's tone, his melody, or just him, the way he sings, but it sounds very similar to the joint with Jay-Z, which is, um, damn, Watch the Throne? No, 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 not Watch the Throne. That was him and Kanye. Holy Grail. It sounds very similar to the track Holy Grail, and not in a bad way, because I fuck with Holy Grail, but it sounds similar to that, but more upbeat, tempo meeks verses is fire he got two verses i think justin timberlake does a bridge and then he brings it back notice i ain't really break down what nikki was so much really talking about because it's fucking dr seuss nursery rhyme it's nursery rhymey shit and that's not me dissing you nick this is no disrespect to all the Nicki minaj fans and the barbs or this is not i'm just saying i expected more because from the from the snippet of nikki who the fuck is that I don't know. You see me, right? I'm like, yo, what the fuck I hear? But um, from the Nicki Minaj snippet, I expected more fire. From Meek's snippet or, you know, uh, his uh, video leak. That's another thing. Vid Meek came, had a video drop at midnight. He dropped the audio, the, the song with a video. That let me know, like, Nicki, you wasn't really prepared. Like, this was a rush job. You was just trying to get in the pocket with his. But, um... Yeah, Meek shit was fire. Like I, I really, I really fuck with the song. I've been, I've been rocking to it, listening to his verses. It, it, he, he's talking some real shit on that joint. It's very inspirational. It's very. It makes you get on your grind. Like it'll make the drug dealer, the gangster, the criminal get on his grind, and then it'll make it a positive. Uh, nine to five, go to school every day, nigga. Get, get, get on his grind. So, it's, and that's that's what Meek does well. So, Meek, I gotta give you the W on this one. You definitely wins hands down. Nicki Minaj don't want no smoke with you. That's another thing. It's like, yo, Nicki, do you really want smoke with Meek? Like, I know you nice, but if you're gonna if you're going to drop a song at the same time that he drops a song, you're gonna have to come with more than what you did. Cause his track and verse fire. Justin's uh uh the hook uh that Justin sang, dope. The melody, dope, the tone, everything about it is dope. And that's why I said sonically it sounds like freaking holy grail let me know if you agree with what i'm talking about if you hear the same things i'm hearing about um uh, that i'm hearing in the track um yikes is not a bad song though don't get it twisted it catches the l but it's not a bad song scale to one to ten i have to give yikes like a 6.5 maybe a seven and for meek scale of one to ten i'd give it like probably like a, a high 8.5 nine you know what i'm saying like it was there it was 100 percent meek if you're a meek fan it was all the way there i'm sure the barbs are gonna love what nikki is doing um, also, let's just get to it. Nikki has a line in her song with the whole Rosa Parks thing. Let's stop being fake mad. I feel like, yo, this generation will have anything to try to bash somebody or get fake mad about. The Rose, it has a Rosa Parks line. 
it's 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 a metaphor guys it's it's a punchline it's meant for something else it's never meant as disrespect it's meant for something else and she was disrespecting you bitches you know what I'm saying? She was disrespecting other rap bitches or other, you know what I'm saying? And I call y'all bitches loosely. I don't even really talk like that, but I'm talking how M Nikki is saying it. So she's talking to y'all. So I don't know how everybody's getting disrespectful because she used the Rosa Parks. Like, no, she's saying, get your asses up. Like, you know what I'm saying? Get your ass up. Like, like move out the way, nigga. Like, it's just, it's just, it's just so you can, you can picture what she's trying to get across. But I mean, um, other than that, I think everybody did well for a midnight drop and um yeah appreciate y'all coming through y'all already know it's your boy retro i'm addicted you're addicted bang bang